Hello. Well, another impulse purchase. Damn you, Amazon. This Nilco, the recommended retail price of this tub commercial vacuum, according to Amazon, is $199.99. Now, there's no way on earth I'd be unboxing this Nilco if I'd spent that much money on it. But, you know, I was just browsing Amazon, as one does. And I came across this Nilco for, would you believe it, £32.75. So, I didn't even have to think about it. My finger went on the buy it now button before you could say knife. Here's traditional Amazon packaging. Now, I was glad it was in another box because I didn't really want the neighbours seeing me taking delivery of yet another vacuum cleaner. So, Amazon packed it inside a larger one. So here it is. Very boring box inside. Another boring box. There we are. So I'm just checking. No, that's not my address, that's okay. This has been to Doncaster before coming to me, so here we go. This is a Nilco, now I expect it's made in China, but it's a Mil Nilco model S12. Uh, that's about it. Don't know what that orange is, it's an orange sticker. I hope that doesn't mean it's the colour. Well, I'm not bothered what colour it is, really. You know, for I'll smooth this box. For £32 and change, I could have bought a little handheld rechargeable vax cleaner for that. Or more, actually. And I know some of you like to see this type of vacuum. And, you know, there's, there's a couple of things that always make me buy vacuums. Well, three things, actually. One, I like to buy vacuums that I had in the past, well it's quite big. Two, I like to buy vacuums, new vacuums that I like the look of. And three, I'll buy any vacuum if it's a bargain. Even if I've never considered it before, if it's a bargain like this one, then I'll, I'll buy it. It's quite big actually. It's a Henry-esque type of machine. Well this is probably more like the Welco tub vac, but I suspect, even just looking at it now, I expect it's a, a better quality. Now these look, these are different actually, these tubes are different to the illustration. And a little bit disappointing, not that this is going to get used very much. Now these are metal. I'm just worried, they're not the chrome tubes that were illustrated, I'm just a bit worried that that metal will soon get a little bit worn, especially where it's connected. It's not going to wear on the actual body of the tube, but where it uh, actually connects to the other tube and the hose handle end. Um, I think we could be in for a little bit of chafing or scuffing, but anyway, it's a metal tube. Let's get the other one out. Cut it again with my scissors. So, two, oh. <laughs> oh, well it's dented all over the shop. You know, dented, dented, I don't know if we can see it. Anyway, I'm not bothering for this price. Now it's quite a long hose, hmm. Oh, that's, that's probably Henry length, so that's a nice long hose. Not tapered at all though, it's just thin, the same width at the cleaner end as it is. At the handle end, it's a silver colour. Uh, does it swivel? Yes, it swivels this way. Oh, squeaky. Play a little tune on that, can't we? There we are. See, I'm already disappointed. You, you know, the adre you get the adre adrenaline rush when you get a bargain, and to find that the tubes are dented takes the shine, 
takes the gloss off the bargain. Here's the handle anyway, folks, with a little suction control. Quite a nice design. A little bit of uh, dimpling, just to give it a little bit of a, a grip. So there's that. Oh, can't find any of the other tools. Hopefully the other tools and the instruction book will be inside. Oh, it's heavy. Hang on. Ooh. I suspect, I suspect that this will take standard 32 millimeter diameter tools. Let's pop it over there. Ooh. La Pouf La Pant. Now, here it is. Nilcore. So at last, at last the big beast, the big Nilco 271 has got a relative. This is the second Nilco. It's quite heavy. I mean, I think it's going to have some bits inside. The wheels are attached. This seems a robust cleaner. I'd say it's bigger than a Henry, but certainly, yeah, it's certainly more robust than the Welco. Um, oh, it does. I think it will have flexi wine. That's probably what this shape is at the top. We've got the cable. I think it'll be about a 10 meter. Oh, and that's interesting, folks. Let's, let me show you the plug, because it's not a standard fitted. That is obviously a three pin UK plug, but it's one of those adapters, because inside is a European two pin plug. So I could undo that screw there and I will find a two pin plug in there. I've got adapters like this um, for my SIBO G1 and I've got a Miele stick vac that I got from Budapest and it had a two pin plug on. So that's on there. Let's open the Nilco and hopefully we will find the rest of the tools and the instruction book. Oh, there we go. So here's the bottom of the motor unit with a coarse, coarsey, spongy typey filter. And there's a motor. There we go. Look, there's the motor. Um, just got it's got some writing on. Can't make it out though. Uh, can't see who makes that motor. Oh, oh my lord. I am absolutely flabbergasted. Do you know what I was expecting to see, folks? Do you know? I was expecting to see, for 32.75, those dreaded three words. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Made in China. But blow me down, blow me down with a feather, <laughs> it says made in Germany on it, can you believe it? There we go. Can we get that close up for you folks? Can you have a look? There we are. Da -da -dum. Have a look at that for you. Yeah. Bit of bit of action for you. Look. Ooh. Right, so Nilco made in Germany, for goodness sake. It's 900 watts. Ah, oh, which is different to the uh, listing because it said it was 1400 watts, so that's wrong, isn't it? Double insulated, 50 to 60 hertz, article number 2627003. Wow, I think this will be quite quiet. There seems to be quite a lot of foamy insulation all around here. So there's the motor unit, there's the handle, and I'm assuming that looks a bit like a steering wheel, doesn't it? I'm assuming that is for the cord storage. You've got a big on-off switch there. That's it. Now, it's, I, hope the, I hope the other bits are inside. Yes, and the instruction book. Here is filter. Not sure if it's washable. Hopefully the instructions will show me. So, it's a tub vacuum, very familiar style for use in a commercial environment. I'd say it's probably bigger than a Henry, that filter. Here's the instruction. So it's an S12, very boring, isn't it? Very boring, very German. S12. 
Oh, it does have an energy label. Hmm. Not sure if that's correct. Let's have a look. Oh, it's, oh. <laughs> it says it's an 800 watt in this, so who knows if this energy label is correct, but I'll read it anyway. It was inside. So it gets a D for energy use. It gets an F. I did see these figures when I bought it and I thought, well, 32.75. So what if it's an all F? One D and three Fs. Now, if that was your results in your exams, you wouldn't be very happy, would you? You wouldn't be going back to your parents saying, look, look, ma and pa, I got a D and three Fs. That would not do at all. But this is what this machine gets. It gets an F for emissions, an F for carpet cleaning, an F for hard floor. But it is relatively quiet at 75 decibels. There's some more bits and bobs in here. Oh dear, oh, it's all in German. G German. But it says it's an 800 watt motor in this, but it's uh, 900 on the Dubry. So who, who are we to believe? No. So there's an awful lot of instructions still in German, but I'm hoping that they're just, you know, I think I've managed to work it out. Ah, here we are. Cleaner for dry pickup. It's showing me uh, two smaller tools. There's no dusting tool. Showing me a uh, carpet and floor nozzle, of course. And it's showing, well, it says not shown, two dust bags. I don't know if that's too spare. I expect it isn't. Dust bags may be a little bit harder to get hold of. Be interesting to see what the floor nozzle looks like. And yes, you've got, it is for that uh, thing on the top that looks like a steering wheel, is the cord storage, which is something that that Welco vac didn't have. It had a hook on the back. These are big, big bags. And German bags too, I bet they cost a bomb. I bet they cost a fortune. Unlike Henry bags, which are pretty cheap, but these are German bags made in Germany. And it also fits the Fakir. Für Fakir slash Nilko Staubsauger. S20 Eco Power. S20 L, S12. Um, so that's a big, big, strong fleece bag. You've got your little doobie that uh, covers the opening when you're Disposing of the dirt. Oh dear. Oh, I got up a bit too quick then. I'm a bit lightheaded. And no, I've not been hitting the gin, folks. I only have the gin on New Year's Eve videos. Who knows? This New Year's Eve, you might see me completely paralytic. But probably not on this channel. Hopefully I'll have started my vlogging channel by then and I can really go to town with uh, substance abuse. But I'm not um, saying you should, kiddies. It's an, I've got an addiction, what I'm doing now. So, you know, I can't talk. Here's the crevice tool. Uh, on the scale of um, big to small, this is a medium. A medium one. They could have given a bit of a, le bit of a longer one with this because it's not stored on board. I don't think, or oh, it might be. Uh, yeah, I think in the instructions it did show some sort of a caddy, but... That will probably go uh, missing. I do find this type of cleaner that's used in a commercial environment, the small tools tend to go AWOL pretty soon. So that's your crevice, medium crevice, and here, hmm, yeah. here's a sort of a upholstery nozzle. You've got a brush there, look. Do, do, do. There we are, can we see? I'm doing this, I've only got two lights on. Well, the main light and two of my studio lights. It's uh, been a very dark day today. Very warm, but uh, very dark. Hopefully you can see that, folks. There we are. So that's the all-purpose nozzle. Now, finally, oh, it's a good one. Oh, well, that's a good thing. It's one of these. Now, the nozzle that was illustrated, so the illustration, apart from showing chrome tubes, and I think actually the handle had a chrome end. So it is slightly different from the from the picture, but it showed a head that was more, I think it was more similar to um, the original Henry Hetty head, you know, that type. Oh, it's still an old plastic affair. This is more like the um, newer Henry head. 
very um, it's becoming quite common that shaper nozzle but it's a little bit disappointing we've gone all, all plastic it is a I don't know how you pronounce it Wieselweck you know that company they make Miele heads they make Sibo they uh, make a lot of heads for various vacuums it's a good solid head this is certainly better than the head that was supplied with that Welco vac um, so you've got your foot operated pedal to lower the brush at the front and the back and the side actually it's an all all around brush but leaving a gap for it used to be edge cleaning but that gap where there would have been a little lip you know it would have had a little um, you know a thingy it's actually closed off to keep the suction in I think for the uh, lower wattage motor it'll still go quite close to the edge but it's not actually open that's what I'm trying to say it's not open at the end but it'll get pretty close as I say this is used in a commercial environment and cleaners don't tend to do your crevices do they as long as it looks clean that's what I found when I've been in rented properties they've obviously used something similar and looks clean to them it'll do but uh, it's not getting the deep down dirt but in a commercial environment they tend to have short pile carpet or stuck down uh, stuck down carpet tiles commercial carpeting contract carpeting which wouldn't benefit from a beating action anyway or a brushing action a beat a cleaner with beats as it sweeps as it cleans action or a similar action it works better if it can lift the carpet up on a cushion of air so the beater bars can tap at it to release the grit with contract carpeting that can often be stuck down or very short pile you don't basically need a beating and brushing action which is why you'll find a lot of machines in the commercial environment are this type or if they're an upright like the SIBO machines or even that big Nilco they just have brushes they don't have beta bars so I'm pleased that it's got that. I mean, that head on its own would have cost more than £30. If you were to buy that separate, this can cost 30 40 or more pounds just for that. So, you know, I've paid 32 75 for the whole thing. And to find out it's made in Germany, you know, it's quite surprising. A bit surprised that uh, the casters are fitted. So, one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six seven eight nine ten then i let it go again why did you let it go because it bit my finger so which finger did it bite this little finger on the right there we go that's just a little rhyme i i've remembered from my childhood there's also one about a little girl with a little curl but i won't bore you with that there is a date wheel in here and it says Oh, no, I can't see it. Let me. See. I have to get right in. It says 03, so it's between 5 and 6, so it could be June 03, 2003. Well, it possibly, possibly. Might have been in Amazon's warehouse for a long time. So, there we go. Grey and very German looking. No smiley face. It's not really room for it. I suppose you could stick something under there. Put a couple of eyes. This is her, Henry's German cousin. They don't talk about him. The black sheep of the pneumatics. So let's push the bag on. Um, mm. Now, is it is it this way or that way? I better check. See if we see if you put the print up. There's no there's no idea. There's no guide on the bag saying this way up or anything. So let's see what it says. Da, 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 da. Oh, those Germans they've not told me how to do it oh, I'll, I'll look at the picture if that's going to help right it looks like that that bit is at the top so it must go text side down so let's push it on it looks like it's going to be a tight fit oh there we go no it's not that tight there Looks a bit bigger than a Henry bag. Standard Henry, anyway. So, there we go, there's the bag. Let's pop the filter back on, and that does actually go a certain way because there's a lip. There's a lip, you see there? So it uh, will only go, assuming, 
well, you can move it around a bit, but I'll have, I think the lip would be at the front. Just there, look. Yeah, that's better. You can see it. There's the lip. And we'll pop on the motor unit. It's a big one. Nilco don't do things small, do they? They might do a small cleaner, but this... I'm not scared of this one. Not like that beast, that upright. This isn't, this isn't quite so scary. But it is a big machine. It's got a sort of a lug fitting. There we are. You don't have to turn it as much as you do with a Henry. Let's um, plug her in then, shall we? See how she sounds. So the only disappointment really with this is the slight dents in the tubes. Oh, oh have I got a spare socket? Yes. Okay, that's, uh, well, I'm not sure, it might turn on. I'm not sure if it was in the on position. So let's just pop that there. No, it's not turned on. You're not turned on yet, are you, Nilko? She's not turned on. She soon will be. Just taking a swig of drinky. It is rather warm in here. Don't worry, folks. Look. That's um, a cordial with water, I can assure you. It's uh, no drinking for me today. Or in fact, every day, more or less. Okay. Oh, yes, it's a nice long hose. Yes, good. It is um, probably about two and a half metre in length. Right, let's, let's try her out. Come on, work. She's a sturdy beast. Relatively quiet. I've heard quieter. Oh, she's got a lovely plastic smell. So, let's pop, pop the tubes together. I think she'll, uh, she'll do well with this nozzle. See, this is all I'm worried about now. When metal meets metal, especially when it's sort of a coated, painted finish, that is bound to wear. But, well, what can you do? You can't, you can't keep things the same unless you never use them. I've got a few vacuums I've not used, but some that I've opened in the past, I've said I'm not going to use this, I may change my mind. You never know, folks. So, there we are. Well, just turn that round. You see, it's not adjustable. I suppose with this, uh, this type of cleaner, you can just hold it up or down according to the height. Oh, she's quite manoeuvrable. Oh, yes, she is. She's a bulky beast, she is, but she's got big wheels that are quite high up. You know, they don't, um, yeah, that moves better than the little, uh, the uh, Welco. The Welco, of course, even if you were to buy the Welco at the full sort of price, it would be about half the price of this, if this was at the recommended price of 200. I wouldn't say it's worth 200 pounds. But I would certainly say it's worth 32 75 Let's give her a go. Yep, she's ripping the pile. Oh, lovely. Oops. I like these nozzles because Unlike some of the uh, nozzles fitted to lower energy vacuums, it doesn't actually stick. You know, it doesn't stick to the floor like a limpet, like my Hoover Pure Power Green Ray cylinder. It allows you to move it over the carpet, um, but it's, you know, I mean, it takes a little effort. It doesn't, you know, you can feel it gripping the carpet, but it's not too difficult to push, even with the suction control fully closed. And also, it's not the other other way where you get some nozzles that they just go far too easily, and you don't you don't feel they're doing the job. But this one, it's it's the best of both worlds. It's easy enough to push, but you do feel that it's gripping the pile and actually picking up the dirt. <laughs> And 
I do like to see the carpet lifted up. I just feel that it's letting the air flow through the pile. It does lift, unless the carpet's obviously stuck down. This is a fitted carpet, but obviously they don't stick them down, only around the edges. So you can see it's lifting up the carpet, which is allowing air to flow through it, which hopefully is creating some airflow and bringing with it the dirt. There is a little parking bracket just on the back, can you see there? And there is a slot at the back of the Nilco. So I only saw this yesterday and I'm, um, I'm an Amazon Prime member. I'll just unplug her, then we can wrap up the cable. I'm an Amazon Prime member so I get next day delivery. And so I saw this and I was off today and I thought, right, let's get it. Most of the day was gone before it arrived, but never mind. Still was next day delivery. And um, so it's been worth it for me getting Amazon Prime. And also I got it when it was uh, on offer for my annual fee. But it's more than paid for itself. Because with, uh, with me working, I don't like things arriving when I'm at work, so I like to have things delivered either, oh that's a bit, uh, got a knot in it, I like to have things delivered on my day off or on a Saturday or a Sunday they deliver as well. So for me it was worth having a prime membership. So obviously it's not as good as having the Henry cord rewind system but this is certainly better than nothing it's better than the Welco it's better than the Vax Vax do a tub cleaner commercial tub cleaner and that has a similar cord storage to the Welco where it's just a big hook on the back and you just have to sort of wrap the cord around it's also quickly show you it's also got one of those little clips that's very like the clips Electrolux used to supply with their uprights so all in all, pretty pleased with that. So obviously, we haven't seen how it performs, but I think it will. Its performance will be on a par with a new Henry. Um, might have a might have a little bit more suction, being a slightly higher wattage motor. The new Henrys are very efficient for their low wattage, but all in all, she's uh, she's bulky. She's big, but. She's not too heavy. I wouldn't recommend her for home use, really, because of the size. And for stairs, a um, little bit, bit awkward for stairs. But in the demo, we'll see how far the hose reaches. It will reach up probably two thirds of the way, but not to the top. So there she is, my bargain Nilco Tub Vac. Thanks for watching. I will at some point, I don't know when, but I will be doing a demo of this machine and uh, seeing how she performs. Because she's a bigger machine, I can actually put down more, more dirt than I can with some machines, especially some of the bagless. She's got a big capacity, so um, I may well do a big mess test. Some of you like those. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thumb up, please, if you've got any questions about Nessie, <laughs> Nessie Nilco, is that your name? I'm going to call you Nessie, Nessa, eh? Tidy, yes. Some of you might know that reference. If you're in America, you won't. I doubt you'll get Gavin and Stacey, maybe on PBS. But uh, yes, I think Nessa's a good name because Nessa was a big girl and tidy was one of her catchphrases and uh, Nessa Nilco will keep things tidy and spick and span, hopefully. So, for me and my bargain Nilco, Nessa Nilco, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching again. Tune in for more vacuum fun coming up very soon. So, until the next time, bye for now.